also in the mail today I got my GM IET sensor and my spooling up math harness I'm getting ready to install that right now All right, so basically, uh, the reason we had to install an IAT sensor is uh, my tuner's having trouble. Um, just by tuning speed density with uh, fuel temp, like he normally does. And I think it's because the fuel's going into the surge tank. It's running through non-factory lines that are not metal. So the fuel is heating up and cooling down in a way that it wouldn't normally because of the fuel setup I have. So I'm hoping, and he's hoping, that by switching to the IAT sensor, man, I really need to sand my headlights and give them a re-clear. Getting a little fucking yellow here. Anyway, uh, that he'll be able to tune it, speed density in the traditional sense, and we'll finally be able to get this fucking thing done. And I don't know, maybe fucking sell his car. I'm fucking tired of it <laughs> tired of fucking with it i haven't put the exhaust heat shield back on yet so that's why that's looking a little rusty but and i'm not gonna fucking zip tie these wires all out of the way until i know for sure this shit is fixed but i know this is you guys this first look inside And as soon as handle this fucking tuning scenario, as soon as the tuning gets squared away, we'll do some driving videos, get some driving clips, and uh, at least a startup video. Fuck. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at for right now. So tune in next time. <laughs>